Colombia, a country of vibrant colors, rich culture, and breathtaking landscapes. But did you know that beyond the surface, there's a tapestry of surprising facts waiting to be uncovered? Today, we're embarking on a journey to discover Colombia in a way you've never imagined. Nestled in the northwest corner of South America, Colombia is a land of contrasts. From the lively rhythms of salsa in Cali to the serene beauty of the Amazon rainforest, this country is a treasure trove of diverse experiences. But what sets Colombia apart are the unexpected stories that weave through its history, shaping the nation we see today. So buckle up for an adventure that goes beyond the typical tourist brochures. Colombia, officially known as the Republic of Colombia, is a country that spreads its beauty across South America, with some captivating insular regions in North America. Let's navigate through the geographical wonders that define this nation. The Colombian mainland is hugged by the Caribbean Sea to the north, Venezuela to the east, Brazil to the southeast, and a cascade of natural wonders down to the Pacific Ocean to the west. It's a true spectacle of nature. There are 32 departments, each with its own distinct character and charm. The heart of it all, the bustling capital district of Bogota, not only serves as the country's capital, but also as its largest city. A melting pot of financial prowess and cultural richness. From the vibrant energy of Medellin to the sizzling coastal vibes of Cartagena, Colombia offers a kaleidoscope of experiences. Covering a vast area of 1,141,748 square kilometers, Colombia is home to around 52 million people. Its rich cultural heritage is a testament to its history as a colony, blending influences from Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the indigenous civilizations that predate colonization. Language is a fascinating part of Colombia's identity. Spanish is the official language, but did you know that they recognize English and 64 other languages regionally? Now let's take a quick trip through time. The Spanish first set foot in La Guajira in 1499, and by the mid 16th century, they had established the new kingdom of Granada with Santa Fe de Bogota as its capital. Fast forward to 1819, and Colombia emerges as the United Provinces of New Granada, gaining independence from the Spanish Empire. In the 1900s, there was a shift in borders, with Panama seceding from Colombia in 1903. The latter half of the century saw a complex interplay of armed conflict and political violence. However, since 2005, there has been a remarkable turnaround, marked by improved security, stability, and unprecedented economic growth. Colombia is one of the world's 17 megadiverse countries. What does that mean? It boasts the highest level of biodiversity per square mile globally and the second highest overall. From the lush Amazon rainforest to highlands, grasslands and deserts, Colombia's terrain is a haven for nature enthusiasts. Beyond its natural wonders, Colombia is a key player on the global stage. A member of major organizations like the UN, the WTO, and the OECD, Colombia's diversified economy ranks as the third largest in South America. Add to that its role as a NATO global partner, and you have a nation that's making waves internationally. Colombia boasts the best healthcare in Latin America. According to the World Health Organization, that's an impressive feather in its cap. So, whether you're drawn to the vibrant cities, the lush landscapes, or the rich cultural heritage, Colombia is a destination that truly has something for everyone. Number one, Colombia is named after Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer, embarked on a daring journey sponsored by the Catholic monarchs, Queen Isabella the Mushrooms and King Ferdinand II of Spain. Back in the day, everyone was buzzing about finding a Western route to the East Indies to cash in on the lucrative spice trade. Columbus had his eyes set on that prize. But as fate would have it, Columbus didn't quite end up where he planned. Instead of the East Indies, he stumbled upon the Americas, landing on an island in the Bahamas. This unexpected encounter marked the beginning of a new era, the period of conquest and colonization that would reshape the world. Now, while Columbus is often credited with discovering the Americas, it's crucial to note that the Norse Vikings had been there centuries earlier and indigenous peoples were already calling it home. Fast forward to the present, and here's where it gets really interesting. The name Columbia wasn't just plucked out of thin air, it carries a significant historical weight. Once upon a time, the term Columbia referred to the entire New World. Initially, the region we now know as Colombia was called the Republic of New Grenada, 
It went through some naming acrobatics, becoming the Grenadine Confederation, then the United States of Colombia, and finally settling on the Republic of Colombia. So while we commonly refer to it as Colombia today, the country's full name is the Republic of Colombia. It's like a captivating journey through time, witnessing the evolution of a name that once encompassed an entire continent. Number two, the world's largest exporter of emeralds. Did you know that Colombia produces a staggering 70 to 90% of the world's emeralds? That's right, folks. Move over diamonds. Emeralds are taking the spotlight. But what makes Colombian emeralds stand out from the rest? Well, let me spill the sparkling beans. Colombian emeralds are renowned for their unparalleled beauty, outshining those from most other countries. For thousands of years, emeralds were considered more precious and sought after than any other minerals. And guess what? Even today, the purest and most vividly green emeralds can fetch a higher price than diamonds. Now, that's what I call a real gem. So, what's the secret behind Colombia's emerald supremacy? One word, geology. Colombian emeralds are found in sedimentary host rock, not igneous rock like those from other regions. This geological distinction makes them generally purer and more coveted. Imagine having a piece of rock that's not just a rock, but a treasure waiting to be discovered. Colombia has also given birth to some of the most famous emeralds in history. Ever heard of the Duke of Devonshire Emerald? It's showcased at the Natural History Museum in London, a testament to Colombian emerald craftsmanship. And let's not forget the Tina Emerald, holding the title of the world's most valuable emerald. Now, that's not just a gem. It's a piece of history. And if you're eager to get your hands on some of these radiant gems, you might want to book a ticket to Bogota. Why? Because the majority of Colombia's emerald mines are nestled in the eastern part of the Andes, near Boyacá and Cundinamarca. And let's face it, most emeralds will pass through the capital city. Number 3. A country with no seasons. What makes Colombia so unique in the world of climate? Well, it's all about location, location, location. You see, the lowest part of Colombia snuggles right on top of the equator, and that means the traditional seasons we're used to are in for a bit of a twist. Unlike countries further from the equator, Colombia doesn't really play by the rules of spring, summer, fall, and winter. Sure, it has its different regions, tropical rainforest, savanna, steppe, desert, and mountains. But the temperature doesn't play the seasonal game like it does elsewhere. Instead, it's like the thermostat is set to pleasant all year round. So what's the deal with seasons in Colombia, you ask? Well, the main player here is the rain. In essence, the country experiences two main seasons, dry and cloudy. But even then, the changes aren't as dramatic as you might expect. It's like a subtle shift in the weather's playlist rather than a complete overhaul. As you explore different corners of Colombia, you'll notice temperature variations. And what's the secret ingredient? Elevation. The higher you go, the cooler it gets. So if you're chasing that winter chill, just climb a mountain. But don't worry, you won't need a snowsuit. It's just a refreshing change. Overall though, Colombia is a warm and inviting destination. No need to brace yourself for miserable winters or sweltering summers. It's like having a perpetual summer vacation. So whether you're wandering through the lush rainforests, trekking up majestic mountains, or strolling along pristine beaches, Colombia's weather is on your side. It's the kind of place that makes you forget about your winter blues or summer heat waves. Number four, the best dancers in South America. When we think of Colombia, we often picture stunning landscapes, rich history, and maybe even a cup of that famous Colombian coffee. But did you know that dancing is deeply embedded in the Colombian culture? Seriously. It's a universal language here. Whether you're young or old, male or female, every Colombian we hung out with knew how to bust out some serious salsa, champeta, and cumbia moves. Dancing is not just a generic term in Colombia. Nope, it's a diverse and rich tapestry, with each region boasting its own dance specialty. Picture this, a country with various dance styles, each celebrated with its own grand festival. How cool is that? Let's dive into the heart of the rhythm, the salsa festivals of Cali. These festivals are so iconic that they kick off on Christmas Day. Can you imagine the streets of Cali coming alive with the beats of salsa during the holiday season? It's a sight to behold. The city becomes a dance floor, and Colombians, young and old, come together to celebrate their love for salsa. Colombia doesn't stop at just salsa. 
there are other incredible music and dance festivals that are worth planning your visit around. For instance, picture yourself at the big carnival in Barranquilla, held in February-March. It's a dazzling display of colors, costumes, and of course, non-stop dancing. And let's not forget the Flower Festival in Medellin, happening in August. We actually have a vlog about it on our channel, so make sure to check it out after this video. The Flower Festival is a breathtaking celebration of, you guessed it, flowers. But it's not just about floral displays. It's a fusion of music, dance, and vibrant colors that will leave you in awe. Number five, the largest gay club in Latin America. Every Saturday evening, Theatron transforms into a mega club paradise for the LGBTQ community, welcoming a staggering 5,000 partygoers. Spread across five floors and 13 mini clubs, this place is a haven for diversity and inclusion. What sets Theatron apart is its diverse range of mini clubs, each with its own unique theme. From grooving to 1980s, hits to salsa beats, and even exclusive spaces for men and women, there's something for everyone. And the best part? Entry is just 48,000 pesos, roughly $1.16 or pound 12, and that includes an open bar until 2 a.m. Talk about a party package. Theatron boasts a castle-like design that adds a touch of magic to the clubbing experience. Housed in a converted theater hall since 2002, the venue has an epic dance floor production on the main stage that will leave you mesmerized. The party doesn't stop at 2 a.m., my friends. Theatron keeps the energy high until the early hours, ensuring an unforgettable night for everyone who walks through its doors. So, if you're ever in Bogota, make sure to swing by Theatron for a night of celebration, diversity, and pure entertainment. It's more than just a club, it's an experience you won't want to miss. Number six, the third largest coffee producer in the world. Colombia is not just about salsa dancing and vibrant cities, it's also a coffee powerhouse. Picture this, after Brazil and Vietnam, Colombia takes the bronze medal in the global coffee export game. But what's even more intriguing is that it's the numero uno when it comes to exporting the premium Arabica bean. In 2011, UNESCO recognized the unique contribution of Colombian coffee to the world by declaring the coffee cultural landscape a World Heritage Site. Now, you might be wondering, what makes Colombian coffee so darn good? Well, it turns out Mother Nature played a crucial role. Colombia's geography is like the coffee plant's favorite playground. Tropical mountains, ideal soil conditions, abundant rainfall, and a mild climate. Imagine coffee plants sipping on the perfect cocktail of sunlight and rain, resulting in some of the richest coffee beans on the planet. But it's not just about the environment, it's also about the human touch. You see, Colombian coffee is 100% Arabica, known for its sweetness and lightness. And here's the kicker, every single bean is handpicked. That's right, folks. The coffee farmers in Colombia are like the Michelangelos of the coffee world carefully selecting only the ripest beans. Picking by hand ensures that only the best beans make it to your cup. No unripe beans allowed. It's a labor of love. And sometimes, the human touch beats any machine out there. So the next time you savor that rich, aromatic Colombian coffee, remember, it's not just a beverage. It's a journey from the scenic coffee plantations nestled in the mountains of Colombia to your mug. Number seven, the tallest palm trees in the world. Imagine a place where the air is crisp, the mountains are majestic, and the flora is beyond your wildest imagination. That's exactly what you'll find in the Los Nevados National Natural Park, nestled within the Colombian Andes. Deep within this park lies a magical valley known as Valle de Cocora, home to a botanical marvel that will leave you in awe, the Quindío Wax Palms. Standing tall and proud, these giants can reach up to a staggering 60 meters, making them the tallest palm trees on the planet. Picture this, 60 meters, that's a whopping 196 feet. These slender giants sway above the valley, creating a breathtaking sight that's straight out of a fairy tale. The Quindio wax palm is not just any tree, it's Colombia's national tree. If you've ever seen Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, these palms might remind you of the iconic truffula trees tall and straight, with whimsical puffs of leaves at the top. Out of the 14 known species of wax palm worldwide, seven of them call Colombia home. It's like a wax palm paradise right here in South America. These incredible trees were once endangered, their future uncertain. That is until the Colombian government stepped in and transformed the Valle de Cocora into a wildlife sanctuary, ensuring the survival of these towering wonders. 
It's heartwarming to see how human intervention can make a difference in preserving the beauty of our planet. The Quindio palms provide shelter to a variety of endangered birds, including the vibrant yellow-eared parrot, toucans, and jays. These feathered residents play a crucial role in the ecosystem by feasting on the palm's red fruits and spreading their seeds. It's a perfect example of the circle of life in action. Number eight, the second most biodiverse country in the world. You might be wondering, what exactly does it mean to be the second most biodiverse country? Well, it means Colombia is a wildlife wonderland, teeming with an astonishing variety of plant and animal species. And get this, it's only second to Brazil, which is a whopping 10 times larger. Now, that's a biodiversity powerhouse. Colombia is one of just 17 megadiverse countries on our planet. What does that entail? It means this country boasts the highest number of species per unit area in the world. And when we say high, we mean really high. In fact, it's home to more species of birds than all of Europe and North America combined. Let that sink in for a moment. Approximately 10% of all the species on Earth call Columbia home. Yes, you heard it right. One-tenth of the Earth's biodiversity is packed into this country. But let's break it down even further. It's not just any species. We're talking about 10% of the world's mammals, 14% of all the amphibians, and a whopping 18% of the global bird population. And here's the kicker. All of this is crammed into a country that's only classified as intermediate in size. Colombia's geographical diversity plays a significant role in this ecological masterpiece. From the Amazon rainforest to the Andes mountains, the country offers a wide range of ecosystems, each serving as a haven for unique species. It's like a living, breathing Noah's Ark right here on Earth. Colombia faces challenges in preserving its natural treasures due to factors like deforestation and climate change. Conservation efforts are crucial to ensure that this biological richness endures for future generations. Number nine, Colombia has a rainbow river. Colombia is not just about its vibrant culture and rich history. It's also home to a magical place known as Cano Cristales, or as locals fondly call it, the river of five colors. Picture this, a river that changes hues, exhibiting shades of yellow, green, blue, black, and an especially vibrant red. It's like nature's very own color palette, and it happens every year between the end of July and November. The secret lies in the crystal clear waters of the river and a fascinating aquatic plant called Macarenia clavigera. This plant, which calls the riverbed home, blooms in a spectacular display during this short period, turning the Cano Cristales into a living, breathing work of art. Now, what makes this even more incredible is that you can actually swim in this river of colors. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine yourself floating among hues that change like a kaleidoscope. But there's a catch. To preserve the delicate ecosystem, make sure to stick to designated swimming areas and resist the urge to wear sunscreen, as it can harm the environment. Now, getting to Cano Cristales is an adventure in itself. First, you'll need to catch a flight to the town of La Macarena. From there, it's a journey on horseback, donkey or foot to reach the river. But don't worry, you won't be doing it alone. A knowledgeable tour guide will accompany you every step of the way, ensuring you have a safe and unforgettable experience. Number 10, Multicultural Society. Colombia is a melting pot of cultures. European, Native American, Latin American, Caribbean, Middle Eastern, and African peoples have all left their mark on this beautiful nation. The result? A vibrant and diverse society that's as rich as its landscapes. From the energetic beats of Cumbia to the colorful expressions of its art scene, Colombia is a living canvas painted with influences from around the globe. The dance, music, and art are like puzzle pieces, each reflecting the stories of the communities that have called Colombia home. And let's talk about food, shall we? Colombian cuisine is a flavorful fusion, a symphony of tastes and textures, it's no surprise when you consider that the diverse communities living here have all contributed to the culinary magic. Empanadas, arepas, bandeja paisa, just a few delicious examples that'll make your taste buds do a happy dance. While Colombia might be about 90% Catholic, the real magic happens during the holidays. Picture this, a colorful kaleidoscope of celebrations, from religious processions to lively festivals and jaw-dropping carnivals. Colombians know how to throw a party, and these occasions are a testament to their warmth and hospitality. 
These holidays aren't just a reflection of religious beliefs. They're a reflection of the Colombian spirit, fun, cheerful, and always ready to welcome anyone new with open arms. It's not just a celebration, it's an invitation to join in the joyous rhythm of Colombia. So there you have it, folks, the surprising and wonderful world of Colombia's multicultural society. It's a place where diversity isn't just embraced. It's celebrated in every dance, every note of music, and every delicious bite. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more adventures, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring.